It is Monday morning. What's up, Piper? I am kind of finishing packing everything that I can think of right now that I need to get ready. I'm going to film our podcast for a handful of hours and then coming back to finalize everything and then we're heading to the airport um, in Tijuana, <laughs> not in America. So our flight is like at 1 a.m. in the morning. I hate long flights. I hate flights in general, not a huge fan. So we'll see how this goes, but um, I'm just praying that my back gives me some relief because sitting on a four and a half hour flight <laughs> in the middle of the night when I'm already tired and swollen and stuff is going to be miserable <laughs> if my back is hurting. So I'm just really, really hoping it doesn't. Nick's off running a bunch of errands. I'm gonna make myself another decaf coffee or espresso, I should say, um, and pack the final touches. I'm just sitting here thinking, okay, what do I need? But I do have a list and you guys helped me with that. So thank you. <laughs> Is Pipey gonna go to a friend's house and make some friends? Are you gonna make some friends? Yeah, you got some eye bugs. What are you eating? Oh, we gotta vacuum this floor for dad. Crazy girl. You wanna show everybody where you pooped on the carpet last night or the other night? That was one of them. Couldn't get it out. So and then this was the other. It was so bad that I just cut the carpet out. Like it was so bad that I just cut the carpet out. We're redoing this room soon anyway. So whatever. But yeah, it was so smeared in there. I was like, I'm going to vomit trying to clean this up. So I just cut it out. <laughs> all right. We're all packed up to go. I need to show you guys the progress on the kitchen. <laughs> and not show you my naked Nick. <laughs> okay. We're about to take another picture because we've been taking these like progress pictures from before we even did demo partway through further. And now we need to take another one. Are you going to help me give a tour? Hi. Oh, baby. What you want? What you want? What do you want, Jojo's? I love you. Meow. Meow. All right, do you notice something different? Look at our subway tiles. They did a really good job with these. They basically told me that these ones right here were gonna end up just being like this all the way up without some of them having the little um, grout. So I think it looks really good how they did that. Um, I also love like the texture on these. Nick picked these out. I just wanted the normal kind. And at an angle, like this one looks like a different shade a little bit, um, which I really like because it works when you have like uppers that you're trying to match. So you don't just have like, I don't know, kitchens look really bad when the cabinets look too yellow compared to the tile and vice versa. So the way that these got laid, it looks really good. I like it a lot. They were trying to talk us in a vertical and we were both like, or stacked. And I was like, no, no, no. So I'm glad we made this decision. Obviously it still needs to be grouted, but also the other change in here. Ta -da! Nick demoed this today. I'm so impressed. He got so much done today. Saved our little picture, <laughs> but he totally demoed this completely out. So now what's gonna happen is the fireplace is gonna, it's gonna be too hard to explain, but basically the fireplace is gonna come out. Um, and go all the way up to the ceiling. And then there's gonna be a little nook here and a nook there um, kind of situation. And we'll have some cabinets and seating, but it's looking really good. I just put compression socks on. I have sausages for toes, like my legs and my feet are pretty swollen. Um, but aside from that, life's good. We're all packed up, about to go. We're gonna take our other photo that we have been taking right here. <laughs> um, they're really cute because like, I just love seeing like the progression. So it's kind of fun also because I wasn't pregnant when we started, <laughs> started taking them. So um, we're gonna leave in a little bit here. We're gonna drop Piper off, get some food before we head down to Tijuana. And then um, we're gonna go across the CBX bridge. Oh, passports. We have our passports? Let's not make that mistake again. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I would be so fucking pissed. I would cancel the whole thing and just come back. Still in training, but very, very quick on your toes. No, no, no. 
No. I'm gonna go take my makeup off before we head out to the airport though. Finally got on our flight. What time is it right now? Party time. 12.40, I'm so tired. We got an inflatable pillow though. Oh no, this is for like, so you can poop. <laughs> <laughs> Than that. How do you say it? What? 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 Tuko. Yeah, you say it way better than me. Watuko. Waiting for our bags. Pretty much got no sleep in the plane. A little bit, not really. Those were like the loudest flight attendants I've ever had on them, like a red eye ever. That was rough. <laughs> More vodka. At breakfast. We got the rental car, we're on our way to Puerto Escondido. I'm not sure where we're gonna stop for breakfast. We wanted to go to Orle Cafe, but I should say it with my R's, huh? You say it. You Orle know. Cafe. <laughs> um, but it's closed. So we're gonna head to Puerto Escondido where our hotel is. Um, hostel. It's not a hostel. Yeah, it's a hostel. It's not. It's a boutique hotel that I definitely had, well, I, I, didn't, I was gonna say I planned it, but I didn't, you did. But I definitely had my hands in picking it up. <laughs> this guy would have us in a hostel. He'd have us in a no, bunk bed with me. like six people. Yeah. Huh? Shared, shared beds and everything. No, no, we're not. That's not how Kershaw travels anymore. <laughs> um, this reminds me of uh, San Pancho. Ago? No, San Pancho. Yeah, it does. Like this road. Yeah. We did bring our country, a little hell catch em. Someone's driving a stick so I don't get any attention during the car ride. <laughs> All right, we just stopped off in this little town to have, where are we? Do you even know where we're at? Uh, I don't know where we're at. Pueblo <laughs> Magico or something like that. <laughs> it's this super cute little town. It kind of looks like San Pancho. checked in a while ago but we can't get into our room till four so we've been trying to figure out a way to burn like four or five hours it's hot as shit here um they're doing like workout classes up here and it's making us both feel like pieces of shit <laughs> we disappeared to another hotel now very nice and coconut <laughs> You're so bad at <laughs> it's so gross. You don't want this. <laughs> well, I can't drink that, so. So you really like it. Hopefully, it'll help my cankles out. These are still pretty rough down here. <gasps> All gone. Liar. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to uh, Christmas vlog. It's a vlog because it's a video. <laughs> Me gusta de cocos de meas.
I feel bad for them. They're even worse. I was thinking about getting chip phase, but now I kind of want to do some push-ups. Street foul! Street foul! Street foul! We gotta get out of this hotel. <laughs> So basically, we they let us in early, which was really nice. We weren't supposed to get in until 4. We got there at 10 a.m. at the hotel. We got in at 1.30, I think. And then with the red eye and not sleeping at all, and you, he was at work for three days prior to that. So we got to the room, and it was so freaking loud. And that goes on from like, what, 10 to 6 p.m., something? Just classes all day of yelling and people right outside your door. Um, so, and then in addition to that, this is a baby moon, so we're trying to stay away from kids for the first couple days, first few days. So it says like nobody under 16, and there's like kids at the pool that yeah, are 16. Hey, good morning, how are you? Hello. Um, I think I'm gonna have some orange juice. Hey, do you have any iced tea? Iced tea. Iced tea. How do you say orange juice in the Uh, Yesterday, the, the orange juice that I got, they put water in it. It was very bizarre. <laughs> so maybe I should say it like that. Um, so anyways, yeah, uh, the pool is also like just, I don't know if we'd get into it kind of thing. So um, yeah, I feel like the resort should have been advertised as like a fitness boutique hotel. So we're gonna, um, we're picking up some friends from the airport today at 3.15. So we're gonna check out their hotel and possibly switch to it um, simply because we feel like, I think I said this yesterday, but like, I don't know, being like pregnant and giant and not working out really and having giant ankles and like eating bad and stuff like doesn't feel great having people work out around you. <laughs> I didn't come here to work out, I came here to drink tequila. And you came here to, yeah, exactly. Massage feet. <clears throat> oh yeah, he's been so amazing. He's been massaging my giant cankles for like every, every day. It's been really nice. They're a little bit less swollen today. I put pillows under them and slept with pillows under them all night long, and they're slightly less swollen, so let's hope we don't get back to how they were, because that was freaking rough. Yesterday I received probably the most hilarious burn that I've ever received in my entire life. Um, we were sitting in the car, and Nick looks at me and he's like, all right, go ahead and put us in reverse. Did you guys get that? I got it right away. He was basically calling me Fred Flintstone. <laughs> It's so fucking hilarious, dude. It was so good. I think I was, I've been laughing about that like literally ever since. They actually called the burn center because it was so bad. They did what now? We called the burn center because it was so bad. <laughs> these would be given to Nick. <laughs> he forced me to get them. He's like, I want to eat these. So, looks so delicious. Mm. Oh my gosh, it looks good. I drank the coconut and then they cut it up for me. It's so delicious looking. He already stole one. <laughs> checked into our new room because that other place was awful. It's very cute. It's muy cute. Look at that view. Lots of wood here. I like it. Very tropical. And then the pool's right over here. Just don't show anybody that. I got a new background on my phone because I just posted this on, oh damn it. I just posted that on Instagram. It's a cute pick. I saw a really cute little baby hanging thing over here. Oh, it's so cute. I love that. This is like a little, this is so cool. This would be rad in her room. 
Love that. That's cool. So we love it, but it's a little rusty, even the new, the ones inside. So we're gonna see if we can find another one, but that's super cute. I love that. There's like a the crib one. What do you like better, the crib one or the seat? I like the seat, but you only have two and they were both kind of grimy. Yeah, the one outside is like definitely no one's gonna buy that. The thing is really used looking, but the one inside that they had was not like really the right colors, but we'll keep looking. We're, uh, we kind of got a late start this morning because um, someone was sleeping in for a very long time. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're gonna- I can't believe you did that. <laughs> um, where are we going right now? What's, do you know the beach? Uh, it's a secret though. Oh, it's Playa a secret. Secreto. Oh no, it's really actually called that? Yeah, fire. Fuego! Oh. oh, that's sad. <laughs> Tester. Uh, through a giant Ooh. bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Your butthole fucker a little bit. A little way off. It was so it was not it was so shallow. <laughs> Of Escondido. I've been kind of in a bad mood for most of the day, to be honest. So just a bunch of random things. <laughs> so I am actually in bed right now watching Worst Roommate Ever. This is actually really good. Um, it's like 9 p.m. We have to leave here at like 7 a.m. tomorrow. Uh, this resort has been awesome. Nick is paying our, or not paying, but signing our bill. Um, yeah, and we're going to bed. So off to Cabo tomorrow to LeBlanc where I've actually stayed before. Um, I really like this resort. I've stayed there twice before and it's been amazing. So hopefully it didn't get less amazing with COVID because I know that happened to a lot of places in Mexico that we've visited since. So anyways, back to the worst roommate ever. We're uh, filling up our rental car um, and then we're gonna return it and we're headed to the airport in Huatuco um, to head to Cabo, to our last destination of LeBlanc. What kept you up this morning at 3 a.m.? Muchos callos y muchos peros. Rio Dar? Rio Dar? Rio Dar? Let's see. We'll have to. Let's see. How do you guys have it pulled up on here? We're trying to figure out how to say loud in Spanish. Well, Benito well, Juarez was the first president of Mexico, he was basically there. Covering your nose and mouth, Alec Baldwin, or what was the first one to be there? We are, um, okay, so get this, we got here, we missed our connecting flight by like 10 minutes, so then the next flight was three hours away at four. It is now 4.51, and our new flight was supposed to leave at four. Four or five. Four or five, and it got moved to 4.30, and then we had to switch gates and go literally to the completely opposite side of the airport. And I've been toting this thing around, and uh, I cannot fucking breathe with this thing on. So many tacos. Um, and then we got here at gate 81, and they're like, sent everybody upstairs just to sit where there's no gate or anything, because they don't have any idea when this flight is leaving. And I have to shit my brains out. Again. The bathroom right there, it was very nice and private and clean. Uh, those kids that were on drugs were just in there. <laughs> we finally made it, but we're going in reverse because we passed the entrance. I just wanted to like, give you a full, <laughs> like, see what the front looks like. Oh, yeah, cool. <laughs> it's like 9 20. uh we were supposed to get in at fucking three we just went to get some food and um now we're waiting for a guard that doesn't seem to be oh here he comes 
to let us in so we can check in. Finally made it into the room. Before this gets super messy, I thought I would film it. Okay, so this resort's all inclusive, which I love. Um, yeah, oh, it's up here. <laughs> this is fun. <laughs> um, they don't do Nespresso anymore. It's this other machine, so hopefully this is good. Uh, next, I want to get some ice. And here, I'm very excited to have a bath. Um, my cankles need it. Very excited about that. Oh, feels good to have a place like a desk to work. I know I'm not here to work, but I have to work too. We are just seeing this at night right now, so Nick's gonna have a whole different like view of this in the daytime. There was just, those fireworks are really rad, but oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Good morning, handsome. <laughs> Look at that starfish. Look at him. I better stay on this side of that little slip between your legs. <laughs> well, with the camera at least. Uh, we just woke up. It's like nine o'clock and it is, it's hot today. It's gonna be hot as shit today. It, it's gotta already be like in the eighties and it was only supposed to be 76 today but look how pretty it is. Right down here, there's like a little cafe where you can get like paninis, um, ice cream, all that kind of stuff throughout the day. Um, and yeah, my, one of my favorites, I don't know if you can see, there's actually a beach or a pool at the edge over here, like right on the beach. Last time I was here, Last time I was here, I was in the pool and they were actually um, digging up uh, baby sea turtles that had hatched. And they were pulling them out one by one and putting them in a little cooler to save them. They like buried them there, the, like the eggs, or, or they marked where the mom seahorse, see, why do I keep saying seahorse? I just woke up, I need coffee. <clears throat> oh, please. They would mark where the sea turtles would lay their eggs and then they would come back. How long is this, like seven months or something? Three months, I can't remember. But then they would dig them up when they were supposed to be hatching to help them dig and they moved them closer to the hotel so that the horses walking over wouldn't like stomp on them. And actually I have to say this is the first time I've been at this resort where I've seen seating on the beach. There's like umbrellas and stuff down there. Every other time they're like, they don't allow you to go on the beach or swim here because of the uh, current but that's pretty cool. Today, we are 32 weeks. Little baby is the size of a lion cub. Definitely feels like a lion cub inside there. She's 17 to 18 inches in length, 4.2 pounds to 5.8. I wish she was a little bigger because honestly, I think I've gained about 30 pounds now. <laughs> so, um, yeah. You were, you felt her last night, huh? She was like going crazy in there. Yeah. Yeah, she, she was like, I don't know. It kind of seemed like she was like making muffins or doing a workout to like Metallica or maybe mosh pitting in there. I'm not really sure, but she's got some strong kicks. Um, she's, I think she's gonna be a serious wiggle, wiggle worm when she's out um, and have a lot of energy. Apparently they have like the same sleep schedule when they're born as they do now at this stage. And I honestly think I'm like more like 33 weeks right now. I think I'm... My due date, according to conception, when we conceived her, is April 30th. So she's measuring a week ahead. It makes sense. So I actually think we're 33 weeks today, but. All right, it's about 1 p.m. I just finished editing one of our podcast episodes. It's going up tomorrow. Our new upload day is on Monday. Uh, so, and if you didn't know that I have a podcast with two of my girlfriends, it's called Yeah, No, I Know. I'll link it in the description box below for you guys, but. I am going to go ahead and edit this vlog right now so that I can get my ass out to the pool um, and enjoy this. This is our first day at this resort. So it is absolutely gorgeous outside. Nick is surfing. 
So I'm gonna take this time while he's gone to edit this vlog and then I also need to do my 32 week or my 31 week video diary that I'm doing. I posted on, oh, running out of breath. I posted on the YouTube community tab that I've been doing like a video diary of every single week or every two weeks of my pregnancy and it's gonna be a very long video but it sounded like a lot of you were interested in seeing that. So I will be putting that up. Thank you for the push. Uh, so I do need to quickly film that and yeah, I feel huge right now. Like I <laughs> look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, this like, it feels like it kind of came out of nowhere, but um, it was somewhat gradual. But anyways, one last pan of this resort and then the rest of our stay here will be in next week's vlog. But since it is Sunday, I wanted to close this one off, get it edited, get it done, but we are um, having such a good time and thank you guys for watching this vlog and we will see you in next week's vlog.